Here we're going to talk about some of the literally infinite number of games you can play making use of variable practice. Now, I like to call them games because when you do, kids engage more, they work harder, and it doesn't seem like they're actually working. So all they're doing is trying to win the game. Now, <clears throat> the goal of all of these is for the kids to learn how to tune their strokes or calibrate their strokes. Um, I think of it as like tuning a piano or tuning a violin, just making sure that everything is optimal. And they're trying to find that movement solution that works best with each of the conditions or constraints that you put upon them. There are two broad categories of games that we play. The first is very simple games. <clears throat> Here, we start with the four different parameters, and we play with just one of them. For instance, we might do a set of freestyle where they're just changing the skills that they're focusing on every time. So rainbow focus, pass it on format is a perfect example. Uh, with stroke count, they may do a set of repeats where each one they swim at a different stroke count. Again, fairly simple. There's only one variable for them to play with. Tempo. A simple tempo format is have them swim a set where each repeat they're changing the tempo that they swim at. So all of the others are just all of the other parameters, skills, what have you, are fitting together in that rule or in that constraint. And then last pace, I mentioned as my first example of variable practice, just a simple descending set where they're descending their times, one to four, five to eight, et cetera. So in all of these, we're just playing with one facet of the, of the stroke and playing games with it. <clears throat> a second broad category, and that gives you a lot more to, to really work with, is where you hold one of the facets constant and you play with one or more of the others. So for instance, if you hold the skills constant, you might have them play around and swim different stroke counts with each repeat. Or again, holding the skill constant, play with tempo and have them vary their tempo each repeat. Same thing with pace, you hold the skill constant, have them focus on one thing, for instance, metronome six beat kick and they need to vary their, their pace with each 50. Now, you can go through that same sort of um, same sort of countdown or so with each of these facets and you hold the stroke count constant and you play with skills. Hold this constant, play with tempo or play with pace and we do a fair amount of tempo work where we'll hold the tempo constant for a repeat while they're varying their stroke count, while they're varying their skill focus, while they're varying their pace. And if you want to, you can get really complicated when you do this. Um, that's only, you know, you, you see in <clears throat> various television commercials, you know, these are for professionals only. And once you get into the higher reaches and more complicated sets with variable practice, you only do it with the older kids who have a really good feel for their stroke, whose skills are very good and whose skills are variable and flexible so that they can actually meet all the different demands that we're putting on them. <clears throat>